race matter online? That's the question that has spawned a forum series on digital media organized by the UNCF and supported by the MacArthur Foundation. Today marks the beginning of the UNCF Institute for Capacity Building's series on digital media and learning in multicultural contexts. It's a public forum series. And we're beginning with uh, the forum entitled To Be Young, Digital, and Black. It's really fitting that we hold this first forum in the Atlanta University Center, which is the largest consortium of historically black colleges and universities on the planet. And it is especially significant that we're holding this first um, forum here at Morehouse College, which again has a history of being out front in investigating and addressing new phenomena in the world. Fast forward to the 21st century, to the young digital I think that when we look in terms of education, we have to be able to see what what has transpired. You know, if we see that young people are, are soaking it up, if they're addicted to it, if they consistently texting and tweeting, let's let's think of how can we pro, be proactive about teaching them using what they use. Our featured speaker is Dr. S. Craig Watkins, and Dr. Watkins is an associate professor at the University of Texas at Austin, uh, and he's spent a lot of time is in particular uh, interviewing and observing young people um, and uh, essentially talking with them about how they use social networking tools. He also looks at the role of race and the role of class in the way that young people interact. So one of the things that we know is that uh, African-American youth are just as likely to use social network sites as any other young population in the United States. I think as you'll see later on in this presentation and the conversation tonight, that the access gap more or less has been addressed. And now what researchers are really turning their attention to is what we call the participation gap. In other words, the different degrees, different layers, different dimensions of engagement and involvement and immersion in the technology landscape. One prominent feature of the participation gap has been the role played by hip-hop, music, and culture in leading African-American youth to go online. When we started looking at uh, African-American youth and their use of MySpace about three or four years ago, and more recently their use of Facebook, one of the things that was quite clear was right, is that hip-hop was in some ways a kind of gateway to new media activities for them. That it was really kind of the inspiration for them wanting to go online, to find out about their favorite hip-hop celebrity, to share interesting content and stories and news with each other, just creating like a wealth of content, a wealth of material that suggests that something quite interesting and something quite dynamic is happening. I thought it was really interesting. I really enjoyed the, the presentation. I was particularly intrigued by his sort of entrance into new media through hip hop because that's how I kind of got started. Um, in, in terms of, of doing film studies, it would naturally you progress to music video. And so as I began to do that and really critique hip hop culture, it only brought me back to new media. So I was really um, happy to see that that had been documented. The forum included an opportunity for open discussion between a panel of educators, students, and researchers as well as attendees. My first experience with digital, digital media would have to be, um, I think coming to Spelman as well as me, I guess, watching television and watching films and really feeling like there wasn't a place for me in those films or on those television stations. I guess I'm speaking from the typical college student's perspective and from the typical college student's perspective, we use the digital media every day. There, there are frames out there in which people are actually quite fearful of technology, right? And not without reason, many times. But if, you, if, if that's the dominant thing that you think about, when you think about mobile phones, or you think about social networks, or you think about virtual worlds, then it's harder to see those environments as rich learning environments. So learning with this digital media really enhances the ability of these students to feel like they are actually producing work. I wonder, have we sort of reached the where, where the idea of digital media education can no longer be looked upon as kind of a lecture. I think this is the type of research that needs to be done because you know when you thought when you look at hip hop, when hip hop was when it first started, it was it was an inner city movement. It was it was kids wanting to express themselves in ways that they couldn't. But it was really it wasn't embraced as it is now. You know, it was shunned. Don't rap. Don't dance. Don't 
do art, don't do graffiti. And if we continue to perpetuate this history of we shunning new things that that we don't understand instead of researching into it and look into it, then we're gonna it's gonna take longer for us. We're gonna regress instead of progress, you know what I mean? So I think that we have to look at this thing. But United Negro College Fund, Morehouse College, MacArthur, I think what you all are doing is great and continuing anything I can do to help support, I will. You have my two thumbs up on that. Stamp of approval.